Hey, good morning. It's Steve. Subject of today's video happens to be one of these four gallon backpack sprayers. This one is a Chapin. But they're all the same. It's the piston variety. Let me set you in this stand here and show you what is going on. These piston pumps down here, as you operate this lever, this seal comes off of the piston while you're pumping up the backpack sprayer. You know, you're pumping away. See it moving? Now, at some point in the middle of that operation, this seal is going to pop off of this piston. You'll know that's happened because you'll be pushing and all of a sudden this is going really super easy. There's no more resistance on the handle. Sometimes you can push it up in there and get that guy to reattach itself. If you ever play with these, you'll know what I mean. But when that seal comes off of there, you no longer build up any pressure. Or it will leak on you. So I'm going to tear that guy apart and spend a few minutes fiddling with it. And show you how to fix your backpack sprayer once and for all. If it's a piston type. This is the connecting rod that holds that piston onto this uh, operator you know there's some protruding pins sticking out right there just take a small screwdriver go in between here and then use a larger one and snap that guy in half it, it ain't hard to do if you're struggling this is what you're dealing with just uh, take a minute and uh, separate it no big deal I don't know if you can tell or see that, but there is a ridge molded inside of this seal here that is expected to hold on to the groove that is cut into the top of this piston. That's the point of failure with all of these backpack sprayers. You know, these diameters change a little bit, whatever, but no matter what, this right here, this seal attachment idea doesn't work. Looking at the bottom of this, there ain't no reason we can't put a hole right in the center of that. Get us a big flat washer and we will attach that seal to this piston with a screw and a, you know, with a, a bolt. We're going to attach it right to that guy. Hang on and wish me luck. Man, we ain't got a whole lot of room in there. You know, we don't want to damage the piston. So I'm going to tear the nut out of this butterfly type of wall anchor here. And um, use that nut. We'll insert it down into that hole right there. Do as best job we can as drilling right through the center of it, the diameter of that thing. And we'll take a fender washer here. And we will uh, lay old guy across the top of this seal like this, and then no matter what, we don't have to. We won't have to rely only on this little uh, molded lip of this seal anymore. Let me get that done. Man, the best part about jobs like this is that you don't even have to be perfect. It's just a backpack sprayer it's bound to be better than it was so poke a hole in old dude there let's get a nut in there i don't know if any of you have ever taken apart one of them butterfly nuts but that's what's in the middle of it i think it'll fit down in that piston man i pushed that thing down in there by tightening up this nut and uh now let's take that guy out of there, cut this long stem off of here, and reassemble this dude. There you go, fellas. 
probably always somebody can do it a little bit better but uh i don't think it'll leak you know we got this washer sealed up the hole is small enough to uh it's quite a bit of resistance on that screw going through this original seal but let me put it back together and we'll uh we'll find out all right got old dude back together i'm gonna pump the heck out of this thing and see if we can't uh well, I know we're not going to separate it, but let's see what's going on while we're pumping it. I used Vaseline to lubricate that cylinder. I guess I got to let some pressure off. Hold on. We'll leave that dude open. Ought to work for quite some time. If I was designing that piston, I'd go with the groove. Nothing wrong with that. But I'd also make sure that, uh, you know, there's room to embed a nut in there. Just like they did on the other side of this screw right here. And, uh, man, I'd make them things last a little longer. That's how I would design that piston. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll keep you up to date on this. If it gives out in the future, I'll let you know. Alrighty, I'm out.